Yeah, good afternoon students. Today we are going to discuss one more topic in our chapter playing with magnets. So our chapter name playing with magnets. So here activity one we are discussing. Whatever the first part to be discussed, it is a second part. In this we are going to do one activity. So I am going to explain activity one. So see there, it is going to display the name. What is the activity which is we are going to discuss? See there. So finding objects that get stuck to the cap of the pin holder. Cap of the pin holder. So in the first activity we discuss pin holder. Okay. So here, what we want to do? Actually, we have to take a pin holder. So in that uh, three objects we have to keep one iron nail, one safety pin, and uh, clip. Any one of clip. So iron nail, clip, safety pin. So here, with me no pin holder. So that's what I am going to take uh, directly one of the magnet. So why I am taking magnet pins? Inside the cap of the pin holder, magnet is there. What is it? Magnet is there. So that's what. Uh, first, I am going to take a magnet. It is example of a pin holder. So here, this is the top of the pin holder or cap. We have to uh, take it as an example. So first, uh, three objects we have to take. So what are the three objects? Uh, first, uh, pin. We have to keep the pin. See, I am going to keep pin. So here I kept. Okay, I kept the pin. It fall down. Sorry, fall down. Let me take once again. See here, I am going to show you. Just it is stuck in. Okay, look here. So if it is some far, it will fall down. If it is very near, it will attract and is stuck. Okay. See. What happened here? Nail stuck to the magnet. So the pins also stuck to the magnet, which is present in the cap of the pin holder. So this is first. Second one, I am going to take a safety pin. A safety pin. A pin we are going to discuss. So here, this is also going to show. It is also going to struck, struck in. See the sound also can. If it's some far, it will not attack. Uh, if it is very near, it will pull and it struck. See. So this is struck in. So next uh, pin, any one of the pin. So here with me. Divider is the compass, so I am going to keep here. This key. okay. See if it is far, it will fall down. If it is near, it can catch. See. So here, these three objects. After using these three objects, there is a question: What do you observe? Three are get attached to the cap of the pin holder, top of the pin holder. Are. So after that we have to take three other objects: pencil, eraser, and paper, piece of the paper. So now I am going to use piece of the paper. See, I am not pushing. Just I am leaving. Look okay. here. It will not get attached. It will not attach. It is not attaching. Next, I am going to take eraser. So eraser also falling down. So these are falling inside the pin holder. Next, I am going to take pencil. See. I am not leaving this. It is not attaching. It is not a attaching. So these three 
piece of paper eraser and pencil fall falling down means these are falling inside the pin hole so there also one question is what do you observe so first three uh, if you use the first three what happened and what do you observe after second three if you use what happened what do you observe there so first three are get attached to the magnet cap of the pin hole because there is a magnet second three this fall down inside the pin holder because magnet a counter uh, these are not attached to the magnet because these are all these three are not made with the iron so that is we can prove practically so what is given in our textbook i am going to read and i am going to explain so you would notice that what did you notice that some of these objects means pins clips and nails so the three whatever i use pin no safety pin air pin and the compass three are attached get stuck to the top of the pin hole so that is happened in that why other objects piece of the paper eraser pencil okay fall into the pin hole actually if you use pin hole that will fall inside the pin hole but but here directly we are using the magnet why did they use and it means what is the reason why does this happen so what is the reason why that is because the cap of the pin holder contains magnet so this magnet is inside the cap of the pin holder that's what the, the irons are get attached to the irons get attached to the cap of the pin holder so which attract substances like iron pins iron nails etc that's what are the that's what uh, all that objects are get attached to the magnet okay similarly like that only the metal stickers whatever uh, we discussed in the previous uh, session some of the uh, gods goddess quotations we will keep to the um, almara sabbi was back of that magnet is there that uh, attached to the see here attached so we can keep you can here you can keep some quotations like that we can attach so that is a reason so that is we are going to learn because there is a magnet behind that stickers c similarly the metal stickers also have a magnet at the back of so that they can stick to iron birwas or almaras so whatever the iron birwas are there in our house to that we can keep this uh, quotation so what is the reason there is a magnet back of that sticker that attached to the iron doors right so some other questions also given in our textbook that for that question answers we are going to discuss continuously what is that what materials is needed for making magnet what are the materials needed to making magnet some materials required to prepare a magnet what are those that we are going to know then the second question what were these magnets discovered how sorry how were the magnets discovered so what is the way who discovered and how that discovery held that is we are going to know for that here we want to read a story of four magnet so 2500 years back is that 2500 years back there was a shepherd whose name was magnus whose name was magnus okay so magnus who was the shepherd he used to take his goats and sheep to hilly areas for grazing 
so every day he used to go the same manner one day he took his goats and sheep for grazing he left them in the hilly areas he sat near a water stream water floating area so always he used to carry one of the stick one of the stick the lower end of the stick cap with the nail cap with the nail so that stick he kept inside the water stream and uh, he is uh, for example this pencil it is a stick so this lower end it is upper end and lower end so here one uh, iron cap and uh, nail is there so this he dripped inside the water and he is uh, shaking and rubbing inside the water so suddenly this stick pulled inside he got down why it pulled inside so immediately he took out uh, from the water <coughs> when did he took out from the water one of the stone stuck to the iron nail one of the stone stuck to the iron nail so this stone is called load stone see on the board load stone load stone it, it is a first magnet which was discovered by magnus so that's what it is called as a natural magnet it is called as a natural magnet when iron rubbed with the magnet or between the two irons if, if there is a friction then it change as a magnet so due to rock and uh, this uh, knee, nail of the stick uh, when rubbing occur magnet formation occur due to magnet formation the stone came out along with the stick so this is called as a load stone here this pencil i am showing as a hand stick of the magnus this eraser i am showing as a load stone which is coming from water body it is stuck to the iron nail so this is the best example to understand who discovered magnet magnus discovered magnet in which year before 2500 years back so what was the first magnet load stone it is a natural magnet first magnet is a load stone it is a natural magnet so here about this i want to give so finally what we are going to get the conclusion in this session first activity it is finding objects that gets stuck to the cap of the pin holder so why some of the objects stuck to the cap of the pin holder means the materials which are made with the iron those stuck to the magnet of the pin holder because in the pin holder cap magnet is there so the sorter at the mouth of or top of or cap of the pin holder some of the iron uh, substance is stuck to so paper piece of paper eraser and pencil which are not made with the magnet so that's what those are all inside the pin holder so that is the activity which is given in our textbook that activity i explain with this equipments so you can understand students so some are attached by the magnet get attached some are didn't get attached by the magnet where is a magnet top of the pin holder or cap of the pin holder so which are attached to the magnet which are made with the iron itself remaining will not get attached to the magnet that the conclusion we will get what is there in the pin holder cap means magnet is there that attracts only iron non iron materials will not attach to the magnet so this is the conclusion of this activity along with the discovery of magnet 2005 years ago magnus discovered magnet the first magnet is load stone so with the with the stick he uh, got one stone from the water stream that is a load stone that is the natural magnet so this is a conclusion of this part then you will get part 3